uh, and on the U.S., when the government went to an extent of saying a casino economy, uh, let's look what happened in Iran recently. <coughs> U.S. threatened sanctions on Iran, told everybody to get out of Iran, including South Africa that had to retreat itself because of the imposition of the sanctions. And as it does so, it sends its business people to go and close deals and then, then, then relaxes the, the sanction that it was threatening on Iran, taking everything to the U.S. in patience of their narrow self-interest. And that is why South Africa is now going back to say, hey, hey the, the ground we lost at the time, we need to reclaim it. So when U.S. wants its uh, interest to be fulfilled, they will then dominate, push everybody, and then make the world economy theirs and playing a casino game in that particular instance. In Iraq, they went under the disguise of the weapons of mass destruction. At the end of the war, American companies signed in deals. You go to Libya with NATO, they went in there, even at the advice of the AU to say, let's find another mechanism of resolving. No, no, no. They armed everybody, dropped guns, and all those guns are all over now in the hands of the terrorists. Uh, and then extremist groups, and then Libya is a failed state now. Who is the cause? Them, and then what happened? They signed the best deals of oil and everything in that particular economy. So they'll do that anywhere and anyhow, and that's how they've been uh, doing. So we don't agree with them on that particular model of partnership. It's not the partnership, it's a gunboat diplomacy that threatens, that bulldozes, and then that pushes people away. It's not the negotiating. And China, what it does on the other hand, it engages, it negotiates, it wants a partnership. So therefore, we need to move to a world that is multipolar. Uh, we come from a bipolar world called, as uh, Elia indicated, and, then, and, then, and after that bipolar, the unipolar was on the rise with the US as the only dominant force. Now, with the rise of China and Russia, they're bringing an opportunity of the balance of Power, uh, power shifting towards a creation of that multipolar. And therefore, our relationship also with Russia and China and India and others, and Brazil on the other hand, is then to begin to take this advantage of the world that is now beginning to shift and ensure if we cannot rise with a multipolar world that is fair, just, humane, peaceful, and equitable for all its human beings. And for so long as everybody is on that agenda with us, we influence the agenda, we also go to those friends that are likely to work with us on that journey of arriving at that particular world. U.S. included, whoever is in the power in the U.S., we are not going to, to learn. But obviously the U.S. posture, uh, wherever it's, it's, it's no longer going towards this particular direction, we'll, do, uh, we'll have to engage them. On the issue of migration is a sad story, I think, and uh, what the president was illustrating was how the world handled the issue of Syria, how the world has handled the situation of uh, Iraq itself, which is now beginning to be the refugees that are arising from that particular conflict, and then all of them wanting to go into Europe. Uh, and the rise of the ISIS that are just slaughtering and killing anybody in that particular part of the world. And some of these uh, terrorist groups were engineered by some forces within the West itself. And now they are out of control, and that's the situation. So refugees are running away for better life, for away from war, away from the ISIS killings or the conflicts that are still taking place. So Europe has to take a blame on this particular issue. Uh, if Libya did not happen that way, uh, we will not be seeing this flow of uh, Africans also crossing in the manner in which they are crossing across. We don't say we don't have challenges in Africa. We still have some parts of Africa with some conflict uh, area. Uh, but also poverty is driving people also. It's not just the conflict that drives people to want to go to Europe. 